And Kinderhook residents are still without gas tonight. And despite the day crews spent working on the lines, they say they're not sure when gas service will be restored. Residents and businesses say they're struggling. WGM's Kara Birnett has more. These cards hang on homes and businesses throughout the town as crews work to get gas lines up and running again. Sundays are usually busy days at the Hook restaurant in Kinderhook, but not today. We were informed last night also that the gas was turned off in Kinderhook and it may take two or three days. Owner James Brockling says he had to close up shop today because no gas means no food. Our fryers, our flat top, our hot water heater, um, and I think that's really for the whole community here. Um, if they're not on propane, they're on gas, so um, no hot water. This comes after a car crashed into the town's gas substation Saturday evening. Resident Rosie Mathis says she saw the whole thing. And the next thing I know, I seen red and blue lights flashing throughout the yard, and I went outdoors, and there was cops everywhere, and the fire trucks and ambulances. Town officials say gas was spraying into the air, something Mathis says sparked panic. The scariest part's when they said there's a train coming to get in the house. And then they got the train stopped, so because if the train sort of sparked, then it could have went. Mathis says she was almost evacuated, but was instead told crews had a handle on it and to not touch anything. But don't turn on nothing, don't flip on those switches, don't turn on no gas, no nothing, because it could spark. Brockling says although his business is taking a hit, he's doing everything he can to help. Kendrick is very close, so we'll come together and raise up and God be with those families. Kara Biernat, WGEM News, Kinderhook, Illinois. Town maintenance workers say crews are working to put in a new substation. He says the goal is to have it fixed this weekend, but NICOR says it should be a couple of days.